All right, good morning, everybody. It's about seven in the morning. Sun is getting ready to rise. This is my new property. We are on about a half an acre. Um, I live in Central Florida zone nine. So lots of beautiful sandy soil to work with. But I am going to be starting my garden from scratch. If you follow along, you'll see me develop my soil. Um, this is east facing in the backyard. Um, so out here, it literally gets sun pretty much the whole day. This, this area here, that's the driest. <laughs> Luckily they have a sprinkler system already set up. So we've got that started. And we are gonna get some stuff set up. Get some fruit trees out. I'm not sure what's growing on the property or what's already on the property. They've got some interesting trees. But it goes all the way back. There is a pond behind us. Can't see it through those tall, thick trees. My buddy Samson. So if you're new to my channel, my name's Aisha, otherwise known as Miss Champagne. Welcome to Champagne Homestead. <clears throat> I've been gardening for about three years now. Um, learned a lot three main things I've learned about when starting a garden. Um, one is sunlight. First thing I did when I moved in was mapped out my backyard throughout the day. From sunup to sundown, where's my shade? Where's my sun? Who gets full sun? We don't have any trees back here, so everything is pretty much full of sun or shade for at least a few hours. Out here is a good eight hours of sunlight. Again, this is undappled uh, sunlight, so it's just full-fledged Florida sunlight, which not a lot of um, your annual vegetables can actually handle, at least not down here. Florida sun is completely different. Um, the areas by the fence on this side, which is the north side of my garden, um, get sunlight for four to six hours, which is still a lot. But the sun isn't as intense because you get some of the shelter from the fence. And then this area closest to the house only gets about four hours. All right, after you know where your sun is, second thing you need to do is consider your water. Now, like I said, they have an irrigation system set up. I also have a water spigot down there. So I've bought a hundred foot um, hose so I can reach the closer beds to water my containers more often because it's in this intense heat, they dry out pretty quick. So sometimes you have to water up to twice a day, especially heading into our dry season, which we're in. Um, it's the beginning of March. So our rainy season doesn't start until like June where you don't have to worry about watering as much because it rains every day, um, like our afternoon showers. But until then, we're in the 80s during the daytime. Um, 60s at night 
So during the day, these containers need to be watered at least once a day. All right, so we've got sun, we've got water. Our third thing is soil. So as you can see, we have a lot of sandy soil. So it's gonna take me some time to mature my soil. Um, I plan on adding cardboard down and then on top of the cardboard, I'm going to um, put straight compost. A um, couple inches. I'm going to do uh, just two rows to begin with. Um, and then over the summer, I'll only do cover crops. So maybe some southern peas. Um, something that grows very well in poor soil. Um, can add some nitrogen back into the soil. At the end of that season, I can just chop it all down lay it down put straw on top and slowly build my my soil from there so while that's happening i will just continue to garden in some containers um i was going to do raised beds but the issue with a lot of raised beds in florida um is fire ants they love to be dry so the minute you raise the soil up off the ground and you provide an area that's not gonna get flooded when we have our afternoon showers, um, they will hover there. And fire ants are very difficult to kill. Um, nothing works on them. <laughs> the best thing you can do is try to scoop one ant pile onto another and then let them fight it out and hopefully both end up evacuating because they're pretty territorial. So if you're thinking about starting a garden and you're interested in watching my journey, please continue to follow my channel, like and subscribe. I'm very excited to see what I can grow, um, get some fruit trees in here, some bananas. Um, I'm going to add some fast growing trees like some pigeon peas and um, papayas, bananas, stuff like that, um, that grow pretty quick and they're not picky about the type of soil that they're in. Here's my containers that I brought over from my town home. This was a pre-built uh, bar from the other homeowners. Um, it's gonna be my makeshift uh, gardening area. Got pretty windy yesterday, so a lot of things tipped over. But yeah, this is where we are so far. Stay tuned to see what's coming next. All right, love you guys, bye.